Hey clan, Scottish Warrior Nato here, and uh, I do apologise if I sound a wee bit funny, I'm still getting over the cold, uh, well, I still got it, but I've took a quick whiff of my VIX and had a nice bit of water, so hopefully you can understand me and I speak clearly enough for you. Um, now, I was sent a message or two asking my opinion on the subject, as you can see in the title screen above, about Disney buying LucasArts, and uh, for those that aren't aware, Disney have purchased LucasArts uh, for four billion dollars, which equates to about two, maybe three billion pounds, give or take it, depending on the exchange rate. And well, there's been a mixed reaction. There's been, well, the reaction that would encompass this music. Or I'm gonna get killed for this, but fuck it. This reaction. No! Send your hate mail, bring it on. <laughs> but that's been the two reactions. Either people have been extremely ecstatic and excited about it, or people have literally went no. <laughs> um, one or two people have actually reacted quite badly to it. Um, but I'm going to give my thoughts on it. Now, first let me give you my backstory with the Star Wars franchise, for those that don't know. Uh, I've seen all the Star Wars films, don't you? Of course I have. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of them. Like, I think they're good films, and they, had dead spy they did inspire a lot of people. Uh, but I've seen... I saw... But uh, I'm not a mega, mega, super, duper, extra, extreme fan. Like, I know my shit about Star Wars. And lightsabers are cool. That's all I know. And the Force is awesome. Um, but... I'm not a super, super into it. Like, Star Wars for me is okay. It's a good movie franchise. Uh, but I do agree that the the prequels are kind of bad. But, uh, listen, I'll tell you what. The first Star Wars film I ever saw was Episode 4. Um, I think it was either on TV or it was one of my one of my friend's dad had the originals. Had actually the originals before Lucas started editing them and all that. And I, th I do remember I did have watched the original one, so I kind of know, what I'm t know that. Um... And I've only ever seen them once. I've only ever seen episode 4, 5, and 6 once each. And it was in that wee box set. Um, episode 1, 2, and 3, I've seen all three of them. I didn't see them in the pictures. I wasn't that big of a fan of them. I got them all on DVD. Uh, and then I lost the DVDs. Uh, but I've seen them all once as well. I've not seen these films like a million times. There are very few films that I watch a million times. In fact, even my DVD collection, I can only name one or two that I've watched multiple times. Uh, but recently, I did go back and watch them again uh, via. Uh, I think like either I think a fact, I think my cousin still has the DVDs. I'm not upset. I can't remember how. I just I watched them recently. I know that much. And here's how I see it: Disney buying LucasArts is kind of big because this also gives them the rights to this gives them the rights to Star Wars. I also think it gives them the rights to Indiana Jones, but don't quote me on that. But th that's not really the thing people have reacted over. People are reacting over that Disney knew enough. As soon as they got the rights, they were like, wait for them to sign the paper. Wait for them to sign the paper. Okay, get the news out. We'll launch the movie. Because they've announced episode 7 for 2015. Which is three years to get a Star Wars film out. And there is a whole fuck ton of rumours. I mean, literally, there are rumours galore. Like, I don't believe half of them. In fact, I don't believe any of them until it comes from the official word of mouth. But I will, I'll say what I want for the, the next one, like what I would like to see, but I will doubt, doubt for a But I'll get to that towards the end. Why talk about the thing that I think is actually good for this, and also the bad. What's good for this is Lucas will not be at the, will not have full creative control. It has been, I think it's been confirmed that he has no, he, he will only be an advisor, which, don't get me wrong, Lucas did make the Star Wars franchise what it was, but the first three, four, five, and six... Those movies were awesome, as they were, but here's the thing, Lucas didn't have full creative control on that, I don't think. I do believe that it was actually in the studio that had a good chunk of stuff there, because he went over a script a couple hundred times, I'm held, I've held. Um, but episodes 1, 2, and 3, he had full creative control over it, and look what we got. And don't get me wrong, I still like the prequels, they're not as bad as a lot of people put them out to be, I think they're okay. I do know that there are problems, and here's how. I've watched the Red Letter Media review of it, and that is near that 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 review is near enough longer than the fucking movies. He's reviewed all three of the prequels, and he explains how they are all fucking shit, 
and I happily respect that he's made some foul points. I'll actually leave a link to the playlist in the description. Go check out Red Layer Media's review because he does a fantastic review of it and it's fucking funny as hell. I, I love it. But he points out all the problems that were in the Star Wars prequels. That's why, before anyone asks, I'm not reviewing any of the Star Wars films. But yeah, back to my point. Uh, Lucas having full creative control is a bad thing, in my opinion, because look what we got with the prequels. They were they were bad, I have to admit that. And I think that's where he's, he's ba bad. He should not have full creative control over anything. Because he wants it exactly the way he wants it, and no one gets in his fucking way. While the studios, even though a lot of studios are fuck-ups, they kind of know what they're talking about in some instances. And also, we didn't even take advice from the cast and the crew and all that. He was just like, this is why I want you to fuck, fucking do it. He wanted Jar Jar. He's the reason we got Jar Jar. Ugh. are so big. I just got killed. Um, but that's a good thing, in my opinion. That Lucas will not have full creative control. Because if he had full creative control over episode 7... We'd probably have Jar Jar being a Jedi gonna go and rescue the Gungan people. That's probably, we'd have a Jar Jar movie. Because he fucking loves that thing, if memory tells me. Um, what are the good things? Uh, Disney, uh, here's the best example I can give. I'll grab them right now. Disney gave us this. Yes, for those that don't know, Disney owns Marvel. They own Marvel, so they gave us all of these. They gave us all of these superhero movies. Now, admittedly, not all of them are great, but they all culminated in the Avengers, the best, one of the best superhero movies out there. Disney did this. Without Disney, we would not have these. We would not have the Avengers. We would not have Iron Man. We would not have this crack team of badasses. We would not have these. And if never did, they'd probably be shit. But yeah, this is the best example I can give is Disney put the money forward from Way Marvel to make the Avengers movie. So this is the best example I can fucking give to people that Disney having Star Wars, having the rights to LucasArts now, it could not isn't really a bad thing. They could do this absolutely fantastic. The best example is the Avengers series. They did a fantastic job with the Avengers series. Admittedly, some of the Avengers lead up movies weren't that great but it all culminated in one big thing so Disney having the rights to this could be an absolute fantastic thing but at the same time it could also be a pretty bad thing as well um, but well, the way that Disney hopefully do it is they'll get the movie out and hopefully they'll aim it to the right audience but let's face it the Avengers is but what does the Avengers classify as? can't tell uh, I can't, I honestly can't remember, but I think the Avengers are like a 12A or something, so it is family friendly to an extent. So, Star Wars Episode 7 is going to be family friendly, I hate to be the bearer of fucking bad news. Uh, Disney are the family, fr family friendly company, so that is also a little bad thing, but I'll talk about, I think that's all I've got to say, it's understandable. Let's talk about the bad things, of course. Disney, of course, is Disney. They are the fucking pinnacle of children's entertainment. They have made some of the most fantastic excellent animated movies of all fucking time. They've also, as I says, put the money forward for this. And several other great movies. Some other not great movies. And they will probably... Here's the thing. You have to accept this. Disney are going to aim this at as wide of, audi of an audience as possible. And that's all I'm going to say is this movie is not going to be like an 18 or a 16. This movie is going to be at most a 12A. Seven, episode 7 is going to be a 12 year. there's no fucking if, what's about it. It's going to be trying to access it to as many people as possible. You have to accept that, okay? Uh, as I say, there are a couple other wee bad things, like, what are they going to do? But it all comes down to, like, what I'd like to see. So, let me also just state one last thing before I go into what I'd like to see for episode 7. Here's my free advice to Disney. You want to know how you can make a, a quick buck and guarantee to make your $4 billion back within a fucking year? Here's my tip to you. Release episodes 4, 5, and 6, the originals, not the ones that Lucas decided to go, oh, well, I want this here, no, I want this here, and I want this laser to look more cool, I want the lightsabers to be... No. Release them, you make your money back. I guarantee, if you were to re-release them in cinemas, 4, 5, and 6, as they originally were, 
You'd make a fucking fortune. I would buy them. I would be like, four, five, and six? The originals? Give me! I wouldn't even care if I had all six movies in it. I want them. I want my three movies. I want the originals. They will make a quick buck. That's my free advice to Disney. If they were to release four, five, and six, the original ones, not the ones that George Lucas decided to go, you know what? I want Jar Jar here. I want this here. I want that there. No, 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 no. No, release the first four as on Blu-ray or fucking release them in the cinema and then back out on DVD and Blu-ray. You'll make a fucking fortune, but Disney. You will make a fucking fortune. I wouldn't be surprised if you made more than four billion. So, yeah, that's my advice to Disney. Let's get to see what I'd like to see. Now, as I say, I'm not the biggest fan of Star Wars. I am a good enough fan that I know my shit about the Star Wars mythos. I like the games, I like the movies, I know enough about it to understand. I'm a bit of a geek about it, but I do know my stuff. What I'd like to see. Now, the two, the two kind of things that a lot of people are pushing forward is some people want to see the original cast back. Here's my thing of that. Ain't gonna fucking happen. I doubt that any of the original cast return. Harrison Ford, eh, eh, he ain't coming back. Mark Hamill, eh, eh, he ain't coming back. Whoever fuck played Princess Leia, eh, eh, he ain't coming back. Lando Calrissian, eh, eh, he ain't coming back. I doubt any of the cast will come back because all the cast have moved on and moved on to either bigger or better things or average things like Mark Hamill for fuck's sake. He's the Joker. He's the voice of the fucking Joker. Harrison Ford has done countless fucking movies. I doubt he's going to go back and play, play in Han Solo. Ain't going to happen. For those that are bitching and moaning and saying, I want the original cast back. I want the original cast back. Grow up. Ain't going to fucking happen. You really want to see, like, I don't even know how fuck. You really want to see 60 year olds walking around playing lightsaber battles? Ain't going to happen. Here's what I want to see. Go to the future or go to the past. Either go, roughly what people are saying is, they're either going to go a thousand years in the future or a thousand years in the past. Here's the thing. Sorry, I think I'm going to sneeze. Give me a minute. No, I'm good. They can either go in the future, like when the Jedi Order had been set back up and then the Sith have returned. Things like that. That's not the fucking going to work. But here's what I'd like to see. Have you ever seen the animate, the CGI, um, promo, basically, for the Old Republic, like the cinematics, like the, uh, the one on hot, the one on the on um, the ones, the one where the 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 Darth Vader ripoff basically storms the Jedi Jedi Temple and it shows one epic battle scene. That's what I want to see. I want to take like the, the for those who don't know the company that made that is called Blur Studios. I want that as live action. I I mean. I prefer, I would prefer if they went back in time, like as I say, it's kind of obvious, go back to the Old Republic, because it's something that has been explored quite a lot with the games, Knights of the Old Republic, Star Wars, the Old Republic, and I would love for them to go back there, go back and explore it a little bit more, write their own story, back to before, the, before Vader, before the Emperor, before Luke, and before Leia, before all that, I want them to go back. That's my I think that would be an absolutely fantastic idea. Back when there were a fuck ton of Seth and a fuck ton of Jedi, and it was an absolute war. Imagine that. Episode 7, 8, and 9. Oh, don't even call them 7, 8, and 9. Call them Star Wars, the Old Republic movie. Or Star Wars prequel. No, wait, that's a bad idea. Star Wars, the Old Republic, the movie. Th that's what I'm going with. Star Wars The Old Republic Episode 1, Episode 2 and Episode 3 because there's three films, uh, 2015, 2017, 2019. That I think could be fucking awesome because you would have an army of Jedi versus an army of fucking Sith in combat and of course you'd have the main character and shit like that. It'd be a look ripoff probably or something like that. They would probably try to make a couple of characters look like what a Darth Vader look alike or things like that but I would like that. I think that could really work because don't get me wrong, I would love to see what happens after episode 6, like, I, I've been told off my mum's partner, who is a fucking Star Wars nut, uh, that he has read the books, and apparently Luke goes, spoilers, Luke turns to the dark side, then he comes back to the light, Han and Leia have kids, her kids become Jedi, Leia becomes a Jedi, and apparently some other people become Jedi, and Luke gets a badass lightsaber that's red, green, and blue, uh, yeah. Apparently it gets pretty badass, but here's the thing, without you could cast whole new people as those roles, I'd be okay with it, but a lot of people wouldn't. So I'd say the best bet for Disney at the moment, if they were smart, would be go back to the old Republic. Like, for the games, the game's done a fantastic job with it, but I'd love to see a movie with it. Like, 
blur stu take the old Republic mythos and all that and put it into a fucking movie. Darth fucking Jedi and Seth, an army on each one, the Empire versus the Republic, an actual full-fledged war. That would be fucking awesome in my opinion. I think that could work the, to the best of their ability and also be absolutely profitable beyond fucking belief. But I think that's all I've got to say in the factor because that's my opinion. It's mixed at the moment. People are positive. People are negative. I'm excited, but I'm not a mega fan of Star Wars. But as I say, is look at Avengers. Look what Marvel. Look what Disney did with Marvel, did with the Avengers. They can do it with fucking Mar with Star Wars. Don't get me wrong. They can fuck up big time. But we'll wait. We've got three years. We'll wait and see what happens. But all I can say is thank fucking God George Lucas isn't fucking full creative control. Otherwise, we'd have fucking Star Wars Episode Seven. The tale of Jar Jar Banks. That's what we'd have. But I think that's all I've got to say. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. As always, I'm Scottish Warren Nate 2. Let me know your thoughts on this whole situation down in the comment section down below. Or do a video response or whatever. Uh, and by the way, if you want to send a death threat to me because I made my opinion clear and you want to leave all these like hate comments and all that, here's my little advice for you. Do it! Go on, do it! I await your fucking death threats. Ah, I love death threats. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you all later. And, ciao for now. Mwah.